Hi, I'm Dave, and this is a vacuum block from my ITB-equipped Alteza that I modified by attaching an idle speed control valve to it. I tested it for leaks, and now it's time for the military to fly a f***ing helicopter over my house. And now it's time to do the wiring for it. Remember I cut off all those extra sensors and tucked the wires away in here? Well, I need two of them for the ISCV that I'm installing. I do want side cutters, so I'm gonna go get some. Like, I have a shed set, and I have an Alteza set. And I'll go into the shed, and there'll be two sets sitting next to each other. It's like, why did you bring the Alteza set in? I don't know. I'm just crazy. And apparently crazy people don't know they're crazy and that's what makes them crazy. I know I'm crazy, so am I actually crazy? Trying to find the end of this is going to drive me crazy. I found it. You missed it, but I actually hit this so hard there was a piece of my skin and hair hanging off this edge. Yeah, I just need to figure out what, uh, what wires I need to use. Panic Wire has put a tune together for me to run the ISCV. Inside the tune it will tell me which wires the ISCV is supposed to be connected to. I need a red and I need a yellow. Now unfortunately there are, that looks to be red, it could be orange, and there are two yellows. I need these two here, CL plus and CL minus, so I've got a red and a yellow wire. There is also a red and a yellow wire for the airflow meter that isn't there anymore. So I'm going to actually have to go to the ECU and probe it and do a continuity test to figure out which red and which yellow I want. I need P20 and P30. P is the plug, so we'll be able to find it here. P, 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 P. Anyway, it's on a different page it seems, but we'll figure it out and I'll show you how I do it. First off, we have to get these three bolts out of here again, because I've never done that before on camera. I think just for funsies, we're going to use the old handheld, the old Armstrongs. By the time I went and got the electric tools, I'd probably already have this out. Okay, get this out of here, get this out of here again, and I think P is that one, but we'll check. P, here it is, and number 20 is going to be underneath number eight. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do continuity. You're gonna need one of these. Set it to this, whatever the hell that is. You want that speaker icon there, so that, see that? So I'm not even gonna have to look at it. P's the bigger of the two. It's gonna be this one here. Let's just disconnect this real quick. So it's probably that one there, I think. No, that's red. Oh, that's because P20 is supposed to be red. F***ing hell. Looking for the red wire, so I need to figure out which one that is. It's going to be either this one or this one. These two look to be sort of running together, so I'm going to put my money on these. All my wire strippers. I'm looking for strippers. You do nothing all day. You're free all day. As soon as you want to do something, people are all over you to... asking for help. Yo, did you hear that? Listen again. Asking for help. What the hell was that? It's actually in the audio. Look, here's the audio file. Asking for help. How the hell did I get Americans in my audio? Was it like a plane flying over or something and they're on the same frequency as my Rode microphones? Weird, man. Okay, I'm putting my money on this red here because it's sort of floating with the yellow. So let's just take about that much off. Expose the wire. Connect one side of your multimeter, doesn't matter which side, to the wire. There we go. So that's just floating there. Right, now the other side. Take your other probe and find the wire that you want. I want that one. And I don't think it's the one I... Don't think it's the one I was guessing. It's not that red one. Where's the other red? The other red is on 021. This one? Hear that beep? Okay. So it's not that one. We'll confirm that by repeating the process. Here's the other red one. Oh, okay, this is a copper. All right, that's connected, not touching anything. 
and we want it to be that one. Let's do it. Hear that? That's the correct one. Oh, this is the cable for the ISCV. It is just a solenoid. So apparently, according to Google, they are not polarity sensitive. However, we'll go black to the minus and orange to the positive. So this is going to connect to our red. Oh, these mosquitoes can f off. There's a lot of them too. Jesus, what the f I'm not sure these are mosquitoes. They're a bit more aggressive, faster flying. All right, I need, just did a great job of wasting my own time because I didn't put the heat shrink on. Okay. I'll throw that on the ground real quick. Okay, we need to slip our heat shrink on this one. There we go. Okay, nice and neatly twisted. Prop it there. Get some solder on the tip. Create a heat bridge. Get in there as fast as you can and get out of there as fast as you can. And we're done. Now inspect it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Pull this back across here. You light up my life. Okay, all good. Now we need to find the earth, which is a yellow wire. Same again. Gonna trim it. I reckon it's this one. Give her a twist. Wrap that around. Over the other side, looking for P30. Okay, put that back on. Select the speaker mode. Did we get it right? We did. Oh, I've got a motorcycle and I rev the Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I uh know, -oh. Oh, we're okay. I smell burning. Maybe I stepped on the soldering iron. Oh, sure did. Wow, that's lucky. Don't step on the soldering iron. Feed that on there. Wrap this around. Okay, put some solder on there. Create a heat bridge. Get in and out as fast as you can. Give it a good old Captain Cook. Yeah, that looks good. And it's not that hot. Okay, put this on here. I probably should have cut those to be exactly the same length, but I mean Suzuki doesn't do that, so we're not going to worry about it too much. Okay, we want electrical tape to hold them together so that they can't move. That'll do. Okay, want to get into this wiring harness here, so just lift that up. Okay, here we go, get that out of there, and we'll grab the other one as well, okay, there's those two, that was easy enough, wiring harness is all full of dirt, that's not good, that wasn't even from me, that's, that's OEM Toyota dirt, that is, that's on them, okay, I got that out of there, we want that to come around to about there, all right, getting this thing in. That goes under there, this goes under here, and that goes there. So our connection's all the way over here. Yeah, if it just pops straight out the end of the pre-existing shit, that'll be perfect. So, gonna do that. Unplug this, get it the hell out of the way, and don't forget to plug it in. Right, I've lost my electrical tape, yet again right okay that's looking a bit better here's something else I figured out this one okay this one and then this one play a tune mate this is why it's always good to have a small roll of tape handy because you have to get into these tight spaces having the cardboard removed from the center of the the roll makes things so much easier just crush it a bunch, peel the center out, now it's a lot more squishy. Keep this loopy, loopy shit here somewhere. Get that in the big jobs, loopy shit. Okay, we've got our TPS here. 
Do we want to go up in between, up in here? We might. Are you redoing that? Yes, I am. Why? Uh, OCD. Try that. Is that. Does that appease the OCD demons? Oh, yeah, that's much better. See? See? Much better. Is anyone ever going to notice that? No. But I'll know. And that is actually the important part. That annoys me too, but we're going to live with it. I've seen it done a bunch of different times on Suzuki harnesses, not worried about it. I just wanted to give you a view of this, how these go on and come off. There's a little tab there, you lift that up and they come straight out and they just push on, see? Okay, so push those on. As you can see, I've got this wrapped already. Put it into place. And then that clips in there like that. Open up the other one. Get your hands in the way of the camera. There we go. Done. That's looking pretty tidy. Here's our ISCV wire that'll plug in just back here for all the B-rolls. It's time to put this bad boy back in. Um, if I can remember how to do it. It's been so long since I pulled it out. I don't know how it goes back in. This is supposed to be easy. Just just put the bolts in. Simply, just simply put the bolts in. Well, there goes one on the ground. Run that in most of the way. Don't want to put it all the way in because this isn't the best fit. It does put up a fight. A little bit. There we go. We're in. What's the complication going to be? Because it's never this easy. The back one strips out. Imagine that. That would be a great complication. Okay, we're in. Good shit. Done. Map sensor. Done. ITB number two. Done. ITB number three. Number three is done. Number four is done. Plug in the ISCV. ISCV is done. Done. One hose clamp. Put this on here. Here it is with the little filter on. Not too bad. Now to put everything back together to show you that you can barely see it, film that and then pull it all apart again for the next video. Speaking of future videos, there were spoilers in this video. Did you see them? 